This video presents the daily care and maintenance processes for the Galley F1XF fire helmet. Inspect the helmet before each use. Check proper function of the key components, such as the buckle and the visors. Inspect the helmet for any sign of damage on the shell and on the internal components. In case of doubt, or after a very severe exposure to heat, flame, impact or chemicals, ask for a complete inspection by the maintenance department. After use, make sure you keep the helmet clean before storing it. Use soapy water and a soft cloth to properly clean the helmet shell. Leather internal paddings can also be cleaned with soapy water. Textile padding can easily be removed from the helmet to be machine washed. Visors should also be checked and cleaned after use, as dust and dirt may cover their surface, still using a soft cloth and soapy water. At the end of the day, make sure to properly store the helmet in a closed locker or in a protection bag as shown, to protect it from any external pollution such as vehicle exhaust fumes. Detailed inspection should be performed periodically to ensure that the helmet is in proper condition and that all components are safe for firefighting use. Inspect the helmet shell for visible damage, such as missing paint, heat damage, or proof of impacts. Check the proper operation of the ratchet, the locking buckle, and other functional elements. Examples of damage are shown here. Broken buckle, Torn straps, or damaged comfort paddings. Check proper function of visors and inspect for damage, such as scratches. visible impacts or other mechanical issues. Also inspect accessories such as neck curtain. Verify that the equipment is still in proper condition of use, checking fabric on both sides,
as well as the attachment clips of the neck curtain. Any questions? Our care and maintenance guide will help you. Disassembling the helmet enables a deeper inspection if needed and enables replacement of defective parts. To remove the ocular visor, unlock the side attachment clips and gently remove the visor from the helmet. Remove the comfort paddings from the headband by detaching the Velcro closure on both the rear and front paddings. To remove the chin strap, position the side straps horizontally and extract the side attachment points from their slots. Push down the rear chin strap point to release it from the attachment hook. To remove the headband, release the rear attachments by sliding them through the wider area of the groove. Slide the yellow front part out of its rail and release the front attachment by bringing them into a vertical position to get out of the slots. To extract the suspension and impact liner, remove the two attachment screws with a proper tool. Then unclip the rear attachment points and gently slide the inner module out of the shell. Separate the suspension module and the impact liner. Unlock the face shield locking clips with a 180 degree rotation, push them inwards and move the face shield out of the shell sliding rails. The helmet can now be reassembled by replacing defective parts with new ones, using only MSA genuine parts to ensure conformity of the helmet. Insert the visor lower clips in the sliding rail on both sides, slide the visor to the lower position, and push the locking clips inside the shell. The locking clips can now be locked by rotating them back. Position the impact liner and the suspension together. Then slide them inside the helmet shell until the rear clips are properly positioned. Attach the suspension to the shell using two new screws to ensure a proper tightness of the assembly. Lock the screws until it feels tight. Attach the black side parts by inserting them vertically and rotate them once the attachment clip is properly inserted. Insert and slide the yellow front part through its rail and complete the installation by inserting the two rear attachment points through the mounting groove. Insert the side attachment clips through their locating hole and rotate the chin strap to the vertical position. Then attach the rear point, placing it under the headband and clicking it to the suspension hook.
Install the front padding by sliding the Velcro closure on each side of the yellow front headband part and fold it to attach it properly. Then attach the side Velcro closure around the black side headband parts. Install the rear padding by sliding the ratchet knob through the hole and attach the Velcro under the headband. Position the side attachment clips of the ocular visor in their slot and lock the clips to the shell. Proper care and maintenance of Galley F1XF helmets are key to ensure maximum safety of the user and to extend the helmet's service life.